I just realized I didn't even start on the starting soon screen. Bro, I am fumbling already. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, people are being really active in chat, and then I look up and I just see just my, my shitting grin on the front of Stein's Gate. I'm like, oh, whoops. I was eating an airhead. <laughs> but what's up, reality? What's up, going? How you two doing? Yeah, I just saw it. I just got home some chillin'. Hell yeah. We got some more Steins Gate for you lads today. We got some more Steining of the Gate. Now, I believe that we are on basically what is the Moeka arc. Because uh, she is logically next in line after Lukaku. And I have no idea how we're gonna deal with Moika. Uh, I really don't. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Listen, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. I don't care what they say about Moika. I will not forgive her. No, you kill Mayuri, you don't. You don't get any forgiveness. F that, dude. F all that nonsense. That's literally an unforgivable sin. I don't care if it's like, oh, but, 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 but I was tricked, but, but, the, but CERN, they, 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 I, I was raised by CERN, I, I owed them, I, I can't. No. <laughs> oh, but, but my beloved, he's in a dungeon, I, I had to do it for him. No, I don't care. <laughs> you don't kill Mayuri and get away with it, Mayuri did nothing wrong. Nothing justifies a murder like that. Murder like that is not justified. <clears throat> but anyways, enough of me about being sad about Mayuri's death. Wait, she's taking... I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was just making a hypothetical. <laughs> but anywho, the warmth of Lukaku's hand slips away as the vertigo hits me. I'm still at the shrine, but I no longer feel Lukaku clinging to my back. I just got a Reddit notification for Steins Gate. What have you been on the Reddit as of late? I turn around slowly. Mm -hmm. Sup, Lukaku? Lukaku is standing a short distance away as if to see me off. No tears, just. A bewildered smile. My chest feels like it's about to burst. God, I forgot how sad the end of Lukaku arc was. I hold it back. No, Lukaku. Hi. Oh I hesitate for a moment, but I have to know. Otoko, Dayona. Hi. So <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why you needed me to reaffirm that. <laughs> Obviously, we know why, but like, Lukaku, I'm just talking from Lukaku's perspective. He, he's like, bro, what? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Golden. Golden's the Rintaro from that one chapter that basically committed a crime. She's gone. He has returned. Cuter than any girl. Looks good in Miko robes. But he's a guy. I bite my lip. Did you really have to ask that, man? <laughs> now he's, you're just gonna make him feel tortured for no real reason. Like, uh, yeah, no, duh. <laughs> yeah, you can't just ask somebody that out of nowhere. What the hell? 
What is this? What is this plan right here? What? He respects me? I don't deserve his respect. But that's not what matters now. Lukako's answer seemed clear, but it wasn't. He didn't answer the question. Lukako <laughs> might still like me, even though he's a guy again. However, he'll never speak honestly about those feelings. It's okay, Lukako. You're accepted. You're accepted by us. It's okay. It's okay. This is what Lukaku decided for himself. It'd be wrong to pry any further. Maybe I'm just running away. Maybe I should pry, force him to confront his feelings. No, dude! What? what? Because you wouldn't accept them anyways. So, like, what's the point? What? You're just, like, gonna torture Lukaku just to, like, confirm your own thoughts. Which is kind of messed up to the highest degree. But I'm not strong enough to- strong enough to accept the consequences. I'll just end up hurting Lukaku. Thank you. Sounds like a skill issue, truly. <laughs> I look away, unable to bear his share bear his shy smile. World line has changed. The cockles a guy again. Which means the IBN 5100 should be here at the shrine, or maybe you already took it back with you. On the previous world line, girl Lukaku broke the IBN 5100. While cleaning the store, I said, Leah! Hello! Hello, Leah! <laughs> there she is, running off into the distance. <laughs> but guy Lukaku didn't clean the storehouse. He never broke the IBN 5100. Nyoom. <laughs> It's 6.46 p.m. Judging by past experience, it is very likely that I've averted Mayuri's death for today. But just in case, I should get back to the lab within the hour. Lukako, うちにはなかった気がしますけど。Sad, Lukako is not a gamer. Un unfortunate, unlucky. When Lukako was a girl, she trembled when I asked her the same question. And then she forced a smile as if to avoid admitting that she broke the computer. But he's not trembling now. Lukaku honestly doesn't know. I asked Lukaku to fetch his father for me so I can ask him whether or not the IBM 5100 was in the storehouse. Uh oh. Oh, wait, maybe it's still there? I, I do feel like we have to deal with Moika's D-mail before we fix this, though. He heads into the storeroom out back, just like on the previous world line. But on the previous world line, the IBM 5100 was no longer in the storehouse, since girl Lukako had secretly moved it. How will it turn out this time? Luca's dad returns after about 10 minutes. His expression is grave. That's all the answer I need. Nothing has changed. Yep, we gotta deal with... Moika. I quickly glance at Lukako's face. 
But I feel like that... <clears throat> it's kind of confusing, though. How would Malika, having her phone changed, decide whether she got to the IBN first or not? It's kind of confusing. Because basically what Moika's demo was, is she just changed what... She just changed the fact that she changed phones. She basically just changed it to where she just kept her old phone instead of getting a new one. Must have sent her a hidden message? Maybe. Blink. He doesn't seem to know anything. Lukako's innocent, I'm sure of it. Okay, yeah, it was definitely Moeka. If the store if the lock was broken, it's definitely Moeka. It was either Moeka or one of the rounders. For sure. No shot. Mochisatta? It didn't disappear? A thief took it. Omoimono年末に大掃除をした時には、あんな後はありませんでしたし、鍵も1 the IBM 5100 is still out of reach. There are two D-mails left to cancel. Something tells me if I cancel just one more, I can give back the IBM 5100. But which one? So, not no, <laughs> I chuckle. Kakako's so adorable when he's trying to cheer me up. But he's a guy. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Some of the way of goodbye and leave the shrine. Two D mails remain. First, the one I sent to myself with the winning Lotto six numbers. I don't really think that one is consequential, my man. I don't really think that one matters a whole lot, to be honest with you. <laughs> Pro probably, probably the Moeka one is the one you need to worry about. <laughs> that one should be easy to get. Yeah, you don't like. It, it's fine. Like you're, you're, you're okay. The problem is the other one, the one sent by someone I wish I could forget. Kiryu Moika. Yep. This is gonna be next to impossible. I know the gist of her email since she had sent it as part of our early experiments. When Moika asked to send a email, I agreed under two conditions. First, make the contents simple enough that the email's effects would be obvious. Second, make the contents public to all lab members. Moika ended up sending a D-mail to prevent herself from buying a new phone a few days prior. The D-mail was sent to July 31st, an easy date to remember. The question is how it relates to the theft of the IBM 5100. It must be the butterfly effect, as it was with Lukaku's D-mail. This time, however, I will not hesitate to do what is necessary. Kiryu Moika does not deserve my sympathy. Exactly. That woman and her men have killed Mayuri more times than I can bear to remember. I'll show no mercy. There's just one problem. The cancellation email needs to be sent from Moika's own phone. I don't think a message from me telling her not to change phones would sway Moika's intentions in the slightest. I need her phone, but I don't know where to find her. What do I do? I return to the lab and set things up so I can time leap at a moment's notice. Fortunately, that isn't necessary. Ah, 
今日はほとんど何も食べてなかったからずっとペコペコだったんだよ明日もあるのうん明日だけじゃなくて明後日もあるの。Mayuri just got back from Kamima 30 minutes ago. She and Krisu stayed behind at the lab. I've just finished eating cup noodles. It's already past eight, and so far, nothing has happened. Mayuri's still alive. Going by the pattern, her death has probably been postponed until about this time tomorrow. Is this the will of some higher being? God? Fate? The universe itself? Or is it merely coincidence? It doesn't matter now. Sate, Sate! Mayushi wa ashita hayai kara, mou kaeru ne? Mayuri takes a big stretch and starts getting ready to go home. She's been up since five this morning. Looks like she plans to wake up early tomorrow, too. That reminds me, I haven't seen Daru at all. He's fighting in the Kamima Holy War, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that doesn't surprise me. Busy, che busy checking his spoils, I guess. Ne ne, Chris-chan and Okarin wa komima ikanai no? Ore wa pass da ga, Joshu ga ikitai sou da. Ha? Chris jumps up at my answer. Jotto Okabe, nani katte ni netsuzou shiten no yo? Hey, you didn't say you didn't want to. Sakki made, kyo mi shinshin na yosu de, Mayuri no cosplay banashi o kiite ita de mo nai ka. So da kedo, dare mo iku to wa itte nai. Iko yo, Chris chan. Thanks for really kind of stop calling her that, man. I know that Chris was an at channeler, but is she no talk? <laughs> I mean, the fact that she references stuff like Death Note, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say at this point. I think she's a weeb, guys. Not all at channelers are otaku, but she has often hinted at an interesting cosplay. Only mainstream animes? Alright, Golden. <laughs> Are you one of those people that'd be like, hey, you've only watched Dragon Ball or Naruto. You're not a real weeb. You're not a real weeb until you watched, uh, I don't know, like, uh, what's an obscure anime? Oh, I know. I know that one with the effing, uh, the, the guy with the phone that can call God. That crappy isekai. <laughs> That's your goat. That's your goat, isn't it? <laughs> I can't open this stupid box. Today, to compare it to, ne, two days are not so many. Go to the morning, it's the same thing. So, the crappy isekai is supposed to be bad. I mean, yeah, all, basically all isekai is bad. If if an isekai is good, then that is the exception. You should never see a good isekai and be like, that's the norm of the genre. <coughs> You've not seen that one? Don't waste your time, man. <laughs> it's awful. Like all isekai. Okabe ga tsuite ikinasai yo. Anta, Mayuri no hogosha de sho? Chigao yo! Mayushi wa ne, Okarin no hitojichi! Ah, hai, hai, so datta na. Hitojichi ni nigerare cha mazui de sho. Tejou de mo kake te doukou sereba? Ore ni wa kono akiba de, yara na kereba nara nai koto ga aru. There's no way you could make it your entire personality, Golden. Because none of the characters have personality in that show. 
<laughs> the search for Kiryu Moika. I already sent her an email. We need to talk, and now I'm waiting, awaiting her reply. Something tells me it's not gonna work. Christina, また会い変わらず到達ね。ま、またとはどういう意味だ。別に。何何話してて何？あのね、最近オカリンとクリスちゃん仲良しさんだよね。いつも二人で話し込んでるもん。<laughs> Mayuri knows Mayuri sees the ship. I feel like Mayuri would be in the camp of like shipping Okabe and Kurisu. She'd be like, they were made for each other. Mayusimo,秘密の会議に参加したい気持ちでいっぱいです。Time <laughs> おそらくマユリが参加しても、チンプンカンプンだと思うぞ。That's kind of demeaning. <laughs> not entirely accurate, but not a lie either. そして、これからクリスティーナに話そうとしているのは、いかにしてこいつを小見舞い行かせるかという内容だ。マユリよ、期待して待っていろ。ふぅ <laughs> He wasn't in, he wasn't, he didn't put his soul into that laugh. I can tell. <laughs> My ear waits in the lab as I take Kurisu outside. So, you are there, Kuristino. Komimani Kutsumori wa naikara. Omae Saki. またと言ったな。ここでこうして1対1での相談を何度もしている。ということで間違いないか。ついに記憶に桜が見られるようになったか。狂気のマッドサイエンティストさんは焦チルコリンが減少してるんじゃない。I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> A neurotransmitter. Acetylcholine. Levels in the hippocampus increase when learning or remembering. Ah, oh, see. Majimenikotairo. Anto. Nanka heino. Okay, so she doesn't remember, I guess. Tanobu. Kotai de kre. Kotai de monani mo. Okabe ga saki tatori yo. Mo shigokai kurai. Koste soto ni dete. Futari de time leap machine o dosu kani tsuite hanashite. Oh. Acetochlorine. <laughs> Acet. Orega time leap stayed a cotton in Cito. For an instant, Kurisu opens her eyes wide in surprise. But then she gives me an angry glare. Still? I nod. これこれ10回以上だ。え、そんなに何勝手な真似してんのよ。うん、looks the line where Ferris and I fought the viral attackers is Alpha 2. The world line where I dated girl Lukaku was Alpha 3. And now I'm on Alpha 4. From my perspective, Alpha 1, 2, and Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and Alpha 3 were undone by my demons. But for Kurisu and everyone else on Alpha 4, those world lines were nothing but separate, intangible possibilities to begin with. I guess I have to explain everything again. 
I sigh heavily, then begin. The VTuber world ruined me? It ruined all of us, Leah, don't worry about it. I keep hearing dick mails. <laughs> it's because that's what it is, Leah. <laughs> they, just, they just don't want you to know, they want to hide the truth. After I'm done, Kurisu sighs and lightly, lightly pats my arm. Don't you mail your dick? Hey man, you know? <laughs> you could you could take a picture of it and send it in an email. There you go, that's D mail. Johnshuni <laughs> <laughs> Mochi, why are your streams like the JoJo world of weird dick stuff? Hey man, Drafki's not even here yet. <laughs> it's still a whole it in 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 terms of in terms of my streams, it's still wholesome so far. <laughs> and by the and by the way, you you started this whole thing. Nobody brought up dicks before you did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pin this on me. <laughs> no, you didn't, Golden. Literally nobody did before Leah. <laughs> no, you're not going to be able to do it. Whoa, 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 if Mayuri stays away from the lab, she can probably avoid running into Moeka and her men. It doesn't matter though, she'll die all the same. All Alpha world lines converge on her death, escaping the attractor field is the only way to save her. お前に<笑> He's not here right now, more say, but he set he set the standard, so you can still blame draft. In my opinion, you can still bl blame draft because he set the standard. Also, hey more say, how you doing, buddy? Doing all right. Hell yeah, my man Morse. We are on. I. It appears to be the Moeka arc, but I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I never considered the possibility of Dick Zippers till he said something. Yeah, draft key ruined all of us. I'll look at it going, but to be honest, I don't really care that much in the first place. <laughs> uh. All right, you win. There you go. <laughs> uh, so we're at the beginning of chapter nine, then. Yeah, basically, beginning of chapter nine. Uh, the IBN fifty one hundred is still not within our re uh, reach because it was stolen. I assume either by Moeka or her rounders because there was clear signs that it was stolen because the the lock was broken and someone dragged something heavy out. So. It's pretty obvious that it was her or the rounders. 
She either stole it or told someone to get it for her. Prisu interrupts me. あんたのこと。俺がどうしたって。あんまり気負いすぎないで。ああ。それ<笑><笑> The correct answer to that question was always no. Okabe has never been okay, and after this, he'll probably have PTSD. Yeah. I, he was never okay, even from the beginning. <laughs> even without all the time travel crap. I'm <laughs> Mayuri doesn't die tomorrow, I can post post the time leap. If Mayuri does die tomorrow, I'll return the, to the past no matter what. できれば、マユリに痛い思いをさせたくないがな。だったら、今からタイムリープしちゃえばいい。この世界線において、いつがデッドラインなのか、それを見極めておかないと。計画をうまく立てられないだろう。こんなこと言うとなんだけど。私は。マユリが死ぬところなんて。見たくない。No one does. Literally no one does. No one wants to see Mayuri die. Now Daru, on the other hand. <laughs> I don't think there's a qualified therapist. Anyone with the qualifications probably has ties to the committee. True, well, actually true, now that I think about it. The committee of 300 being real really makes, like, going to, like, the hospitals or anything... Uh... uh anything, like, pretty complicated. Daru wants to see Mayuri die. Okay, just intentionally, like, not knowing what I said. Okay. Alright, nice. Because you were our best friend. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Kobe exactly sees her as a best friend. If anything. Nani,しろお前は俺の助手だから。there you go. Kurisu forces a laugh at my feeble attempt at a joke. <laughs> we have our plan. My Kurisu will go to her first Kamima. My Uru will be so delighted when I tell her the news. I haven't seen my Yuri all day. Mail time. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. What the? Whoa, okay. Mayuri. I'm off! Morning, morning, Okarine. I'm heading off now. <laughs> oh, nice. And I headed out. Joined up with Mayuri. We're heading out to a keep. Uh, Ariaki. Kinda excited, lol. <laughs> you can tell that Karish has been corrupting by the internet just by the way she texts. There's so many people. I had no idea it would, would be this crowded. Save me on the floor! <laughs> oh, she's suffering. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all for the good. I haven't seen Mayuri all day. I want to be with her, of course, but that's not possible. Moika hasn't replied, which means I have to find her myself. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about her. 
My only clue is Arc re re Rewrite, the company Moika supposedly worked at. How was episode one, by the way, Golden? Was there anything, like, promising, or was it just... Eh, it's Pokemon. <laughs> Karisu the Closet Otaku. Man, it's it's basically not even closet at this point. It's just, it's just, it's just blatantly obvious by now. <laughs> I find it after a quick search online. Sure enough, their business is producing articles for PC magazines. Luckily, their office is in Akiba. Terminus of how Ash and Pikachu struggled at the beginning. I try calling first, but it goes to voicemail. I do think the idea of like them replacing Ash with a female MC is kind of interesting, and uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I like how uh, they... <laughs> Sprigatito was the new Pikachu. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Sprigatito. Sprigatito fans stay eating good, man. I try calling first, but it goes to voicemail. <laughs> I guess they're still closed for the Obon holiday. Or maybe it's just a bad time? Still not sure how to feel about it. Really just feels weird that there was a conclusion of the Ash Arc. Yeah, man. All good things must come to an end. You know. You know, Breaking Bad had an end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like My Hero Academia. I feel like it's like Fisher Price Naruto. Not Fisher Price Naruto Shippuden. Shippuden, like Fisher Price na base Naruto. I'm just not a terribly big fan of my hero. Or maybe it's just a bad time. Looks like I've got no choice but to visit them in person. It's the second day of Kamima and Akiba's deserted. Most of the otaku are lined up at big sight right now. I fell off of my hero around the licensing exam. I haven't, I haven't bothered to pick it back up. I've seen some, like, spoilers and I feel... Uh, some spoilers from the manga, and I feel justified in my decision to drop it after a season. <laughs> or wait, no, I, I don't know how many... I got to the point where Deku realized, Hey man, I've got legs. I can use those legs to fight. I dropped it, like, basically, like, like right there. When Deku learned that kicking is a thing. I love how there was, a, like, a whole, like, plot point of him, like, learning. Hey, man. <laughs> Did you know people use their legs in a fight? Great, great, and, 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 and he's supposed to be, like... <laughs> this guy's supposed to be like, oh, he's like he's like a shonen MC, but he's smart. Just learned what kicking is, by the way. <laughs> oh, my. I can't. <laughs> I don't like where they went with this character. He had potential and they ruined it. I really did think he had, like potential of, like, outsmarting his opponents rather than just, like, like, planning, like, strategies around them rather than just brute forcing through everything. And he's like, nah, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna break my arm again. <laughs> le, le, le one for L. <laughs> oh, good. You guys don't know yet, because I don't know if it's the anime, in the anime or not, but one for all is actually ridiculously broken. So... There you go. <laughs> it, 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 it's a lot more broken than you guys might realize. Uh, just wait, just wait. <laughs> it's the second day of Kamima and Akiba's deserted. Most of the Utaku are lined up at the big site right now. I've experienced the craze of Kamima several times. First hand, it's literal war. I actually like Mineta for the second time ever this chapter. There are people that like Mineta. <laughs> he's he's like he mm. He's like Daru but not as bad as Daru because like he's a kid. I can I just say I hate the like the pervy kid trope in an anime. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so strange. 
I, like, I, just like an excuse to like perv on women. Because like, oh, it's a kid, you can't get mad at him. He's literally standing in front of the all for, uh, all for one killing AFO to kill him before any of the other students. I gotta give him props for that. I mean, I don't know. That also, I don't care, and I don't think anyone else cares, but you might want to, like, throw a spoiler warning in there. But, if, if for a future reference, but, yeah. Experience the heck? I've experienced the craze of Kamiwa several times firsthand. It's literal war. It scares me whenever Mayuri goes alone. I can't help but imagine her trampled by a horde of crazed otaku. But in reality, Mayuri's surprisingly quick and tough. I've seen her weave through crowds like you wouldn't believe. Reese is the one I'm more likely to get trampled. Oh no. Can't help but feel sorry for her. Maybe it was wrong to ask her to go. We were hoping for Light Yagami as a hero and we got Discount Mob instead. Actually, though. Actually, you know, you know, actually, Morse, I feel like it's a bit of a sin to even compare him to Mob. Mob is in a whole other league, dude. Mob cycles actually like one of the one of the goats. I shouldn't be surprised though, because I feel I if I remember one was involved in that. One one, like the guy who wrote One Punch Man, also like was responsible for Mob Psycho, right? I'm not wrong in that, right? Because I feel like the styles are very similar. Can't help but feel sorry for her. Maybe it was wrong to ask her to go. I find the Ark Rewrite office in a fancy looking building on the outskirts of Akiba. I take the elevator up, but there's nobody there. I lean against the wall and wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Dude, that guy is actually like one of the greatest authors of all time. He's He has two series that are like phenomenal. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know any of his other works, but those two are like big, big quality, like huge. One, one is an actual goat, man. And his art, I, I know his art's like kind of rough in the beginning, especially for a lot of people. But his, he's actually been getting better at his art. I don't know if you guys seen like some of the recent, like, uh, webcomics of One Punch Man, but he's actually been improving pretty decently. I take the elevator up, but there's nobody there. I lean against the wall and wait. And I mean, like, even if his art isn't, like, god-tier, like, I think his story and writing more than makes up for it, at least in my opinion. After about 30 minutes, a man dressed in shirt and tie appears. I explain that I'm a relative of Kiryu Moika and ask for her contact info. But he gives an unexpected answer. Oh. <laughs> Moika, Moika really said, F it, I'ma just start lying to people. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised, but... <laughs> F and I'm a stern lie to people. <laughs> OPM the webcomic, uh, oh shoot. OPM the webcomic started in 2009 according to the wiki, so I would expect the style to improve after that long. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, he might, he might just not naturally be an, an artist. I mean, I know it's like, I know it's like, if, if you really practice at something, you can get as good as like, the, the person that draws the manga for One Punch Man. When in reality, some people are just more talented than you. No matter how hard you, like, practice and work. And that's fine. <laughs> but, I mean, like... He, he's doing really good. In my opinion. <laughs> if you if you just practice hard enough, you can, you can outdraw Leonardo da Vinci himself. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Ruben. Yeah, we are at the Moeka route. And uh, it turns out she lied about working at uh, Arc Rewrite. What a what a twist! What a twist! Totally didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, I've been tricked. I should have known better. Moika's is working for CERN. Of course, her place of employment is fake. That's true, most mangaka are primarily story writers first. 
usually have an illustrator. Even for a webcomic, it's rare for it to be the same person. True. I just really respect him for, like, his ability to tell a really good story. That's, that's my thing, uh, chat. The way I judge, like, media, or, like, anime or manga, is it, it mostly based on the story. That's why I, like, get, like, kind of, like, peeved when people, like, say, like, a, a new anime comes out, and, like, the animation's like, oh my god, blows your mind good, it's, it's ridiculous, like, it's god tier. And then they're like, well, oh, this is just the greatest thing of all time, then. Because the animation's good. <laughs> and they, like, the story is like, Oh, my my family was slaughtered by demons, and now my sister's a demon. I must save my sister. And, I, and I, uh, that's about it. And I, and I do some fancy tricks with my sword. That, apparently, according to the author, aren't even actually doing it, even though that makes no sense. But but it's okay, because it's anime. <laughs> I'm totally not referencing Tanji <laughs> Welcome, Ruben. I was just talking about the newest My Hero chapter. Uh, the undercover agent of CERN lied about her employment. How could this be? I know. What a twist. <laughs> Who could have guessed? <laughs> yeah. Is this the end of the line? It's over. It's over for Okabe cells. Stop making that joke. <laughs> Is this about the- oh, oh yeah, my little rant was like, when Demon Slayer like came out and they're like, Oh my god, this is the greatest godsend to anime ever made. In, in reality, it's like, Demon Slayer's like, it's alright. <laughs> the animation's god tier, but uh... The animation and choreography, let me not be disingenuous. The animation and choreography, because those are two different things. They're both god tier. But that's about it. <laughs> there's not really much reason to care about it. Plus, there's a character in there that is absolutely insufferable and I hate his guts. Uh, what's his name? Zenitsu. Uh, I think that was his name, Zenitsu. Thank you for the hydrate reality. I think he's terrible. I hate him. Um, the animation is definitely driving Demon Slayer. It's absolutely overhyped, but it doesn't compare to truly horrible anime like the phone isekai actual trash there even among. Dude, you can't. Listen, that's just. <laughs> like, that's just not even a fair fight comparing anything to the phone isekai. Everything just dogpiles on the phone isekai. It's so bad. <laughs> it really is bottom of the barrel. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Actually picking on <laughs> picking on the bottom of the barrel, man. This is not fair. The visuals are just for show, I believe. The sword styles don't have actual light and your water coming out. Yeah, the author explained that, but like in some of the situations that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the bending machine isekai is better than the phone isekai. The bending machine? <laughs> I don't know. Also, Liburp. Justin about to turn around and leave, the man pounds his head as if he remembered something. This staff member really just said, F it, I'm gonna start lying to people. Everyone's lying to Okabe. F it, I'm gonna just. <laughs> Okabe be like, F it, I'm gonna just start believing people. <laughs> Dude, okay. Chat, listen, listen. Imagine if Ufutable got their hands to Berserk. It's over. It's over. It's over if they ever got their hands on Berserk. That would actually be, like, the greatest thing to happen of all time. It, it It's over at that point. <laughs> Either Ufutable or, or Mappa get Berserk. That would be ama- Yeah, it's over. <laughs> No more crappy CGI. That's the thing. Berserk is like... Berserk would be like... Talked about by everybody. If it had a good anime. That's the only reason it's not talked about as much. And even without a good anime. Even without good anime. Without a good anime for Berserk. 
it still it still slaps. People still love Berserk. If it had a good anime, it's actually over. <laughs> it's it's over for anime sales at that point. Yeah, if Oofenbo got Berserk anime itself should just give up. Yeah, honestly, dude. Berserk deserves so much better than it's gotten in the past in terms of anime adaptations. Oh my god. Oh, it, it would be over, dude. <laughs> I think the reason why a lot of these big anime studios don't want to, like, take Berserk, though, is because the main problem is the themes. And for anyone who's read Berserk, it, it should be obvious it's, it's pretty effing dark. <laughs> Darker than probably most anime most of you have seen. <laughs> Why is it? Like, oh, yeah. And some of them... And some of those studios might not be willing to take that risk. Well, maybe that too, yeah. You, you know, actually... You know, actually... If that were the case... A good... A good... A good one to also take it... Would be David Productions. If you guys don't know who D what David Productions is, it's the people that make JoJo. They could also do a really good job with Berserk, I think. David Productions is actually really good. What's <laughs> okay? Go. <cool>. Actually, troll. Ma da lyrikshow nokotte da kana. Is that a JoJo reference? Stop. Stop. No. <laughs> King of Crimson! Alright, we weren't talking about JoJo. Zawaldo! <laughs> I frantically bow my head and ask him to look for it. He's reluctant, but it... Acquiesces? Sorry, I keep getting off topic. I know we're, we're playing Steins Gate, but I, I just... I got on the topic of anime and wanted to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> The address listed on the resume leads me to a beat-up old apartment. Not the sort of place you'd expect a single young woman to live. Regarding the anime adaptations of Berserk, is the is the problem only animation and designs, or is the actual storytelling storytelling affected? Uh. It, it, oh, oh, you're talking about why the other animators are bad? It, it, the animation, the animation just sucked. Like like the CGI Berserk is awful. <laughs> Like, the animation just actually was, like, dog water. <laughs> didn't... If I remember, didn't Berserk actually have a pretty good anime that was really, like, way back, like, in the 80s or 90s? It was actually, like, a pretty good anime, if I recall. But that was, like, way, way back. The OG Berserk was good, yeah. But they never continued it, was the problem. Not the sort of place you'd expect a single single young woman to live. My only problem with the berserk, like the if we're just talking about the berserk story, is I don't know if I'll like the ending because I don't care what anyone says. I know people have tried to argue with this with me countless times, but the ending will not be what it was supposed to be. It will never be what it's supposed to be, because if you guys don't know, the original author for Berserk has unfortunately passed away. He was... he was amazing. He was an awesome writer. But... one of his friends has decided to take up the mantle to finish Berserk. But the problem is the ending will never be what it was supposed to be. In my opinion. It will never be the exact vision that the original author had. And I think that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, always sad when that happens, yeah. Even if he left notes- yeah, even if he left notes, it will not be exactly what it was supposed to end like. My- my argument is always, it will basically just be fanfiction. Which is a sad thing to note. But I am- I am interested to see how the guy who took up the mantle finishes it. I am- I am definitely inter interested to see what it comes up with. I know it's a bit of a negative perspective on it, but I just feel like that's the truth. Unless the original author already had the last few chapters already written out, and then just, just filled everything in between. It still wouldn't be the same, though. JoJo's great, but like any fandom or anime that gets big, the fandom is atrocious. I mean, you could argue that with anything, though, yeah. Something similar happened with Zero no Tsukaima, but they're... Uh... 
but at least it was finished. Has there ever been a situation where someone else took over the original creator and it came out just as good or better? That's that's not really like my issue with it, Ruben. Is the fact that it won't be what it was supposed to be. Even if it's great, there's plenty of like people that can like fix stories, like make them end in a good way. Um like there's plenty of like you'll often see the meme of like, why don't they let the fans write the show? But like it's that's not my point. It it'll never end like it was supposed to. Like the original author's attendance. I can't stand my hero's fandom either. Freaking obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of people that ship children. <laughs> I tried I tend to avoid my hero fandom and that's how someone who actually enjoys reading the manga. I see your point. Yeah. I feel a strange unease as I approach the apartment. For some reason, there's a police car parked in front of the complex. A uniformed officer is standing out front. And one on and one room on the second floor, room 202, Moeka's, has a blue sheet covering the door. Uh, probably. I just try to enjoy stuff in my own circles. It feels like... It feels much less stressful that way, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like just talking about it with friends that you know is always a good way. Many fandoms have a negative side. The level of toxicity varies, but it usually exists. Yeah. Can you imagine someone taking over Ryukashi from writing Higurashi? What do you think would be the result? Um, it, it'd be different. I'll, I'll tell you that much. It'd be, it'd be different. And it wouldn't be the original author's intention. You know. And Ryukishi's a pretty, pretty brilliant, brilliant writer, although I wish he'd, like, work on his slice of life writing, but that's just personally me. <laughs> but he's a brilliant writer when it comes to, like, suspense and horror. So. All fans have pretty much have a negative side unless they're literally unknown. Not metaphorically, where it's just up and coming. I'm talking, like, barely anyone even is in that. Yeah. What's going on here? I'm the only one who loves Maho Sukai Kuri. Kuro Hime. You're probably right on that, Leah, because I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and I feel like you just cursed me. <laughs> I know it's an anime name, but that sounds like you just put a curse on me. <laughs> I walk up to the police officer. Maho is a magic, I think. Oh, true. Yeah. So possible. <laughs> It's Leah's own manga she's writing. <laughs> I would read I would read a, a manga written by Leah. Nah, 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 imagine this. Imagine me write the story and Leah draws like draws the manga. It's over. It's over for anime cells. We'll come up with a better manga than 90% of fiction. I would have to get off my butt. <laughs> but no, me and Leah would solo the the fiction the fictional square. Got a got a brilliant writer and an even brilliant brilli brillianter artist. Kuro means black, Hime means princess. Not even not sure about Sukai though. I have six dogs in my bed and I don't know what to do. Scream at them. Huh? Joe. <laughs> Leo would be writing the most based in a W manga. The police officer looks uncomfortable. Bad feeling in my gut is getting worse. I'd totally make an NSF W manga if I could take the reins of my ADHD. Listen, listen, all all we have to do, Leah, is we could be co-writers. And you draw because I suck at drawing. <laughs> so basically you do 80% of the work and I get 100% of the profits. That sounds good. <laughs> I'll, I'll just sign my name bigger than Leah's in them. <laughs> I'll eat your ankles. <laughs> oh, Lord. Listen, it just depends on who puts their John Hancock on there first, okay?
何が起きたんですか Trade off or you receive all the work, I receive all the profits. <laughs> I see no issue with this deal. <laughs> Jesus, that's the Oh, okay. Wait, what? We're talking about Moeka? <laughs> Suicide, but why? So, is, is is this the first timeline where she committed suicide with with Moika at least? I feel like this is the first timeline. Everyone, every other one, she's alive. I mean, I I am like do I am aware that she does have like mental problems because of that time where she was like. Having basically a panic attack, like IBN, 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 like basically going crazy. So I'm aware that she does have, like, she's not all there up there, up there. But it's interesting. So is it 60 40 your way, Mochi? Indeed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. ご遺体は近くの千代田第三病院に運ばれてるはずだから身寄りが誰もいないみたいでね困ってたんだ会いに行ってやってくれないかな。It's the first one we know about. I don't think we encountered her in some of the other lines since the last time the lab was raided, but it's likely this is the first time. Gotcha. By the way, if anyone's watching this in the future, and you're wondering why I'm not very sad about Moika being dead, it shouldn't be like a terribly, like, questioning, like, what the heck? Wh why isn't he sad? Because she killed my urine in cold blood, I don't care that much. Yeah, because it's Moika. <laughs> About my thanks and leave. Like, I literally don't care what backstory they give her. I won't forgive her. I genuinely won't. I will not care. She's dead? Moika's dead? What's going on? It doesn't make sense. Wait, should we be sad? <laughs> Ru Ruben, what was your first reaction? I want to know what Ruben's first reaction was. You're usually like... You're, you're like the most passionate. <laughs> what was your first reaction to this? I like her more when she has development, but when she, when she gets a bit of it in Zero, but mostly only in the non-canon rom-com spin-off. What's going on? It doesn't make sense. Suicide? Moika, who killed Mayuri in cold blood, committed suicide? Or is this the... Or is this part of the conspiracy? Could her own men have killed her, and then made it look like a suicide? Today is the 16th. On Worldline Alpha 1, Moika raided the lab on the 13th. Three days have passed since then. Each time I change Worldlines, Mayuri death, Mayuri's death gets pushed back one day. So does Moika's raid. It hasn't happened yet on this Worldline. I was surprised by the suicide, but I didn't feel much for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Based, Ruben. Based. <laughs> so why did she die? I don't get it. This is the first time this has happened. What should I do with this? What should I do? I squat on the ground and cradle my head in confusion. If Moika's dead, maybe my Yuri doesn't have to die. Eh, that's not that simple. There, there was literally, like, a... T Come on, like, dude, there was a time when she died, even though, like, there was no Moeka, there was no Rounders. She just got pushed off the train. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm surprised... Uh, the real gut punches happen much later in the chapter. If they refer to, like, Mayuri or Karisu, then I'll probably be sad. 
But if it's Moeka, I don't think I'll care that much. <laughs> I listen. I <laughs> my Yuri's the goat. You can't go, my Yuri. <laughs> She's the goat! The goat! Dude, I'm anytime Mayuri shows up, I'm like that dude that's like screaming, That's why he's the goat! The goat! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I'm exactly that guy. <laughs> Good. No, I don't think convergence is that kind. Fate demands Mayuri's death. Whenever I try to stop it, something interferes. Mochi's at me. <laughs> it's Draft's fault. We can just blame Draft. Game. Jokes aside, RL, I wouldn't wish death on anyone or think someone deserved it. At worst, I just wouldn't. I just won't feel sad. Well, yeah, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying Moika deserved it or anything. I'm just, I just don't feel sympathy. I guess Draft had to get it from somewhere. <laughs> Was the other way around? Darn it, draft! It, it. I think it's the other way around, man. <laughs> True, I'm the one. I'm the one who meddled with the timeline, but haven't I paid the price already? How did all this happen? A few weeks ago, I was just a college student with a severe case of Chunibyo. The face with Drafty is still here in spirit. He's gonna like jump scare us eventually. Save for Mayuri's grandmother, I had never experienced the death of anyone close to me. Even now we can't escape him. <laughs> death had no place in my life. But how many times have I faced death these past three days? More than... more... more when you count the loops I've made. My heart can't take it anymore. I don't know how much longer I can go on. You can do it, Rintaro. We still got... we've still... Got to save Mayuri. We got we got to do it, man. One more. Just one more D-mail to cancel. If I can just get my hands on Moika's phone. Time leap. Moika died yesterday around noon. I can go back to before that happened. The reason she died isn't important. Whether Mayuri's murderer kills herself is of no concern to me. I just need to cancel that D-mail. It's surprising to see- I know- I know that, like, Rintaro is obviously, like, more affected by this than any of us. But it's surprising to see how, like, his emotions have been dumbed down by this. Because, in the beginning, when we started this game, o Okabe just saw a random dead person, to his knowledge. Like, Karisu- he didn't know Karisu. He didn't know Karisu. Like, mind you. That was just a random person to him. He saw a random person, like, murdered in cold blood, and he freaked the hell out. Compared to the Okabe of now, his emotions have, like, died a little bit. Actually, at this point, counting all the loops, Okabe's been, probably been looping for a cumulative, cumulative total of at least a couple weeks, maybe a month. Plus, my late daily Mayushi gift in general. The goat. That's why Ruben's a goat. Let's see. <laughs> My Yushi on L5. <laughs> That's her cutting up Dara. <clears throat> Upon returning to the lab, I casually look up at the second floor window. And what I see shocks me to my core. The rounders there? Whoa, 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 what? Someone's using the time leak machine! Who? Yuri and Daru should be at Kamima. Not even Karisu should be here. I asked her to escort Mayuri yesterday. Besides, she's against changing the past. Oh, God. So who? The building shakes. You better go and see who it is. The vibration reaches the street. I can't let this happen. The timeline must be tampered with again. We need to stop it now. I brace up to the stairs to the lab. Oh. Oh. By the time I get there, the shaking has stopped. Oh, he was too late. Oh, he was too late. I didn't like the cutting joke giving me Chaos Child vibes. I'm sorry, man. 
Oh, he was having time leaping. He was too late. They already time leaped, man. I quietly peek into the development room. Nobody's there. The door was unlocked. Anyone could have walked right in. How could we be so careless? The time leap machine is still faintly warm. So somebody did use it. Find out the answer to that question. Maybe. It can be missed. Hmm. Who? <laughs> alright, alright boys, cast, cast your votes in the chat now. Will Mochi be able to figure out before he misses it? <laughs> cast your votes now. <laughs> Did they time leap? This is the first time someone else has used the time leap machine. Just to make sure, I checked the X68000. As expected, the history's been erased. The same thing happens when we send a email. There's nothing I can do about this. It worries me, but I have to focus on Moika. I set up the time leap machine. Maximum leap time is 48 hours. To leap more than that, you need to leap 48 hours and then leap again. 42-inch CRT is on downstairs. It's plain as day since the discharge phenomenon just occurred. I put on the headgear. Preparations complete. Should I really leap now? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I should. Just a little more and I can save my Eerie once and for all. I know what will happen if I don't leap now. Here he will die and I'll taste that pain and despair once again. And then, I will leap. It's the same either way. Close my phone. There's no need to rush. Calm down. I can endure the pain if need be. Yeah, I definitely think we need to figure out when Mayuri dies first. I guess I could have opened my phone there and did the leap myself, but we need to figure out when Mayuri dies first. I should exploit my one advantage, the time leap machine to the fullest extent possible, and that means knowing exactly when Mayuri will die. Yeah. This is weird. How can the person be gone? They're not actually time traveling, they're only sending their memories back. Wait, that's- WAIT! That's true, Ruben! You shouldn't be disappearing if you only send your memories back, right? Well, no, no, that's not entirely true, Ruben. That's not entirely true. Because you could, depending on the memories, you, you, how your memories are used, you could be in a different place. That's not entirely true. You, you could definitely be in a different place after said time leaping. So, you would think so, but the very act of sending the memories back changes your location. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that, that could, yeah. The pattern suggests that Mayuri's death should happen around 7 or 8 tonight, unless you repeat the same actions again. Yeah. But things are a little different this time. Moika killed herself before Mayuri was scheduled to die. I mean, you will be in the same place when you travel to that past. You will be in the exact same place you were, I'm pretty sure. But in the present, you won't be. That can create a paradox, yes, but we'll ignore that for the sake of consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're being a little lenient with it. Like, with time travel stories, you have to be a little lenient with it. But things are a little different this time. Waika killed herself before Mo Ma Mayuri was scheduled to die. How much influence will that have on Convergence? There's a chance Mayuri won't die. He might have already won. No, that's not... You need to stop thinking like that, man. Like... <laughs> There's no shot. <laughs> You could be in a different place, sure, but why would the time leap machine still be warm if technically no one should have time leaped now? In this now slightly diverted world line. Huh? I just can't think of anyone besides Kiryu who would want to time leap or anyone from CERN. Because time leaping on its own doesn't change divergence, I think. I think you're right. Anytime he's gonna time leap, it, it hasn't changed divergence. 
It's only when the D-Mills, when he cancelled the D-Mills, does it actually change divergence. There's a chance my Yuri won't die. We might have already won. Yeah, no shot, bro. In that case, I shouldn't waste my effort time leaping. I have no obligation to save Moeka. Or at least not by a noticeable amount. I'll wait until Kurisu contacts me. It's 12.30 now. There's still about seven hours left. I wonder if I could just have pulled up my phone and then just time leap right there. But I feel like that would have been a bad idea. Because we have to know exactly when Mayuri dies. We can plan around that. I hear nothing but the slow, steady tick of the clock. The sound is echoing inside my head. Even if I plug my ears, it doesn't stop. I spent several hours searching for the IBM 5100, but as expected, I found nothing. In which case, the event is self-sustaining. I don't know if time travel is headache-inducing, even when it does make sense. Yeah. I still can't imagine how Moika's D-mail affected the computer's whereabouts. What does their phone model have to do with anything? Does keeping the same phone somehow tell her that there's an IBM 5100 at Yonabayashi Shrine? It doesn't make sense. Even the butterfly effect must have limits. But on the other hand, truth is often stranger than fiction. Sometimes the simplest things have consequences that no one could ever imagine. So I can't rule it out entirely, either. Every form of time travel does create divergence no matter what, but it being noticed depends on how much it seriously changes the present future. True. I think the main change to divergence also depends on the actions you take after said time travel. That's the biggest difference. <laughs> Twist my lips into a sneer of self-mockery. 646, the moment of truth. If Mayuri is indeed fated to die today, I should be hearing from Kurisu soon. I hope nothing happens. All that I ask is to hear Mayuri's voice, to know once and for all that she's safe. <gasps> well, there you go. Mosh -mosh! saw this guy. I hate it. I hate it. I always see it coming. I always know it's going to happen, but it still feels terrible every time knowing that she died. It's, it always hurts. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like crying and bawling my eyes out or anything, but it still hurts, you know? Grace is sobbing. Seeing Okabe gradually become desensitized hurts even more. Yeah. So I know, even without asking, he saw Mayuri die. Suzu had time traveling in 1975 with a broken time machine. Reading spaghetti wasn't triggered because it didn't make that much of a difference to Warline. Yeah. or something? Yeah, poisoned, it sounds like. I mean, yeah, obviously, like, the world line stepped in more, say, but, like, it's not like she just, like, Skyrim, like, Skyrim ragdolled to the floor, you know? Like, there had to have been, like, it's either some, like, health problem kicked in out of nowhere or something. 
すまなかった辛い役目を押し付けて Could be poison, hard to say. Maybe she had a stroke or a heart attack. Yeah. With that, I hang up the phone. Maybe it's because I didn't see it happen, or maybe my heart has simply grown numb. But this time, I don't feel much pain. I hate myself for it. It. It sucks because Rintaro is really blaming himself for this, but I feel like if any of us were to go through it, we'd. Be dealing with the same thing, so I don't think he should be like. Obviously, I'm saying this because I'm not in the situation he's in, but it's sad to see him blaming himself so much, even though a lot of people would be desensitized in situations like this. It's just how it would work. It's pretty genius storytelling wise that they're not even showing us Mayuri dying anymore, you only hear it from pe other people. It shows that disconnect my、uh, Rintaro is slowly having. And that's the true dilemma. And the beauty of the writing, and a lot of people that a lot of people don't catch. Yeah. It. I really love it. It's, it's such a it's such a catch 22, man. I love Steins Gate, but I hate what it does to me, man. <laughs> I feel like an abuse victim. I just keep. They keep doing me dirty, and then I keep going back for more. <laughs> I'm like, he'll change. He'll change. He won't do it again. <laughs> Surely he won't break me again. Then he does it. Oh my god damn it. We've all been there. The true end is worth it though. <sighs> god. I pound my fist against the table. I get their mochi. I, 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 I can do it. I can do it. I just. It's so weird. Because I consider myself a pretty desensitized individual at this point. I mean, like, I, if you're growing up around, like, anime or, like, just a lot of mature content in general, you're pretty, like, dead to most things. Even if you, like, don't realize it, you're pretty dead to most things. But this is still gutting me. And that's what surprises me. <laughs> I, I can't. I.、Uh, man. As expected, the deadline is around 8 p.m. on the 16th. Uh. Oh. Surely this will be different. Steins Gate breaks our heart again. I did it. Oh my god, will Mochi find out entirely by the end of the stream? <laughs> Uh, I hope so, man. This happens when you get attached to a character really interested in a story. It's starting to create something that could draw you in that deep. Yeah. I was expected the deadline is around 8 p.m. on the 16th. Unless I change the world line before the time limit, Mayuri will die. Alright, now we time limit. That was hard to go through, and was incredibly sad. But it's good that we know the deadline, how much time we have. I put on the headgear and activate the time leap machine. There was. That was a straight tie. No, he'll guess but be right. He'll guess but be wrong. <laughs> Regarding the poll, I bet Mochi will make another ridiculous joke and be alright. Hey man, I called I called Amane being John Titor, and no one can take that away from me. Absolutely no one. Nobody can take that away from me. I must obtain Moika's phone, no matter what it takes. I need an airhead. Mom got me an Easter basket. I'm only just now eating. <laughs> Didn't he say it only goes like 48 hours? How is it going through like three days instead of two? 
Or do I just not know how hours work? <laughs> Amane has more foreshadowing than this, though. Getting this one without directly finding out is more difficult. Oh, man. I make several consecutive leaps to travel back to the 11th. Oh, wow. It went all the way back. When I arrive, it's just past 8 p.m. I leave the lab without waiting for the others to respond. I head to Moika's ratty apartment. There's no sign of the police this time. Moika's suicide won't happen for another four days. You don't think it'll happen for another four days. I run up the iron stairs and stand in front of the door to Unit 202. The lights aren't on inside. I start getting anxious. Maybe she's not here. There's no intercom, so I reluctantly knock on the door. No answer. Less no surprise. <laughs> no reply. I try again with the same result. Damn. Might as well try the doorknob. It's unlocked. Why is it unlocked? Why? Uh, maybe she's straight up not there. I take a deep breath. It depends on if her death is convergence or coincidence. Well, yeah, obviously. Uh, also, like, the person that time leaped before he got there. The game immediately answered your question, Mochi. He made more than one time leap. <laughs> That's now <laughs> he went back 48 hours. Yeah. They, they really did, though. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Shit. This could be a trap. Remember, we're not dealing with an ordinary person. Moik is a rounder, an agent of CERN. If I die here, what will happen to my area? I should probably F at that point. Everyone's F at that point. Will Karisu or Daru use the time link machine to save her? I need to be careful. But at the same time, I can't save Mayori by doing nothing. I steal myself, open the door, and peek inside. The apartment is dark. Too dark to see. But I feel someone's presence. I step inside. The apartment is practically empty. Minimal furnishings. Only the barest necessities of life. Oh, the barest There, by the window, is a figure in the moonlight. Hey, Moeka. A woman is sitting on the floor, her head bowed. Oh, I missed so much chat. This is possible. As long as the machine exists, consecutive leaping is possible. The trade-off is that it's consecutive leaping, so your brain has turned to mush. Yeah. There's no one else here. I approach the woman and stare down at her, gritting my teeth in a desperate, em desperate effort to maintain control. Ever since the first time she killed my area, I've tried my best to avoid thinking about this woman. Now I have no choice. I can't accomplish my goal until I have the answers I need from her. I must obtain the IBM 5100 to escape the Alpha Attractor field and rescue my area. Kiryu Moeka. I had another name for it once. It hurts to remember. They force it to the back of my mind. Moika's fingers twitch. She sluggishly lifts her head. I like how I like how some guy is kind of just randomly broken into her apartment. She's just like, oh well. <laughs> but she doesn't look up. She stares at my feet instead. Tage. She finally speaks in a frail voice. Moik has always had trouble speaking, but it seems especially severe today. I notice her hair and clothes are disheveled. She looks awful, even though I suppose that's no surprise, given that she kills herself in four days. FB. FB na no. FB. 
heard that name before. If I'm not mistaken, that's her superior's code name. She's not all there in the head. Yeah, yeah very clearly at this point. Bone and Moiga's hands glow faint glows faintly. She's still clinging to it, I see. for words. I wasn't expecting to find her in such a miserable state. What? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't expect to find her in a miserable state? What? <laughs> do, do, do you remember what happens in four days of coming? <laughs> Clearly something bad happened. <laughs> Give her orders, okay? First, put this. Oh, actually, we should probably get her to not. I I didn't understand any of that. Gold. She was so cold, so calm when she killed Mayuri. It's like she's a different person now. Is this another effect of the world line change? But it's only been a week since she sent her email. How could she have changed so much? Probably expect her to be depressed, instead she's broken. Yeah. I get on my knees and shake Moeka by the shoulders. Oi! Hear me! Oi! Give her orders? Okay, first, out this... Uh, oh, wait, we should probably get her to not kill first. Toro must be misremembering. Moeka definitely wasn't calm when she first killed Mayuri. Yeah, she did stutter, like, she was stuttering and stuff. Kiryu Moeka! Oi! Oreda! No response. Maybe try calling yourself FB. He could he could pull a sneaky, since she's not looking at his face. Just try just saying that you're FB, and maybe she like reveals something. He could pull a sneaky. A pathetic sight. I wasn't expecting this the first time watching. No response. Moika just keeps crying and mumbling to herself. I mean, I always knew that, like, Moika wasn't, like, gonna be, like, the main villain of Steins Gate or anything. I always kind of saw that coming. Uh, but I didn't expect it to be th to this extent, I guess you could say. They shake harder, but she doesn't react. She doesn't even resist. I wonder if Steins Gate is gonna have, like, a main villain. Probably not. I don't think Steins Gate is that kind of serious. Looking down, I notice that she's typing rapidly on her phone. At this point, the main villain of Steins get his fate, yeah. Bewildered, I look at the screen. FB, 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 You're welcome for repeating that. I know, I know you guys wanted to... See me repeat it and look like an idiot for like 10 seconds. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> what happened to Moeka? 
From what little I understand, it sounds like she's lost contact with her supervisor, FB. Sh good old Sherlock o Okabe here. <laughs> oh, a real, a real Watson, if you will. I think the main villain of sci-fi Ed as a whole is just straight up the committee. Everyone else is either related or just a bad person. And, eh, that sounds like what it's gonna be like. Even CERN, who we view as the main antagonistic force, is even treated as a shadow background character. Yeah. That's kinda- that's- that's gonna be kinda sad though, because I love main villains. <laughs> I am a villain enthusiast, I don't know if I've made that clear. That's probably why I like Takano so much. <laughs> But I don't understand how that could turn Moeka into a, such a wreck. I also think good villains make it can complete a story. It doesn't matter. I don't care what happens to her. I'm here for one thing. Obviously, I have a story, but yeah. Recalling my purpose, I reach for Moeka's phone. <laughs> a sharp crack echoes through the room. What'd she slap? Moika slapped my hand away. It didn't hurt, but her reaction was lightning quick. Now Moika curls up into a ball, hugging the phone tightly to her chest. It was like this from the moment I met her. She just never let go of the phone, not even for a second. As if it were the only thing keeping her alive. <laughs> I... It, it's becoming more clear to me that the reason she's so attached to her phone, even from the beginning, is because of this FB person. It wasn't like she's just shy or something. It's because she's so... She's so ridiculously obsessed with this FB person that, like, missing a single contact from them is, like, being dead, essentially. I mean, wasn't exactly a main villain either. She's the antagonist for the club, sure, but the game makes it clear that the point of a happy ending is that no one present thing as to be blamed or defeated. Yeah, true. I just like villains. Meg. Meg. FB to ka yu yatsu kara ka. Meg. I make several more attempts to take her phone while she babbles incoherently, but she just slaps my hand away each time. Next, I try persuasion. I promise to help her search for FB if she lends me her phone. It's a lie, of course, though come to think of it, I would like a piece of FB too. But that could wait until after I've saved my area. Moika doesn't buy it, if that is, she hurt me at all. Damn it, we're not getting anywhere. Maybe I should take it from her by force. What if she tries to kill me before I can send the demon? In her current state, she might not have the strength to retaliate. On the other hand, if she does retaliate, there's not much I could do against someone with a gun. What should I do? I mean, is the gun on her? Yeah. Uh, there are individual characters in the series that could be considered main villains, but Science Guy is probably the one where blaming one person in particular is the most difficult. I see. Where would she keep it? I quickly scanned the room, but there's no sign of it. I remember watching reactions and hearing the same theories after my read the first time. I want to know more about CERN. I bet we're going to fight against the organization to find out who is at the top. Ah, oh, fools. Uh, we'll see. Crap, that startled me. It startled me too, honestly. <laughs> What's up, Joshi? Mosmosi. 
I stand up and move to the entrance where I can take the call without letting Moika out of my sight. They have no idea. Where did that come from? <laughs> I mean, she's right, but like, where did that even come from? お前の発想は実に。スイーツかっこ笑いだな。That <laughs> sounds like a flag to me. Listen, man, Karisu is just like pelted with flags at this point. So you basically got a giant sign that says "Date me," and it only shows to Okabe <laughs> at all times behind her back. That's something Steins get excels at for some reason. Even the anime the sound of the phone call ringtone and text note kids are so ridiculously realistic. Daru,に頼んでくれ。今日はそれどころじゃない。何してんのよ。そこどこ。桐生萌香のアパートにいる。やっぱりお腹。最低だな。Just immediately. <laughs> There were so many times where I was watching the anime, I somehow always mistook Rintaro's phone buzzing being my phone. You were with someone else other than me, how dare you! <laughs> Has she not met Moeka on this world line? I quickly give Karisu a simplified version of the usual explanation. Karisu listens attentively, as she always does. Maybe she's more considerate than I give her credit for. As soon as I finish, Karisu gives it to me straight. It seems like the best idea, yeah. I mean, are we really gonna, like, be sad that we took Moika's phone from her? Like, oh no, we took the murderer's phone and now she's miserable. Oh well. It's <laughs> I mean, she definitely didn't. After the world line shift from Moika's D-mail, no one knows who she was. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Gee, thanks. At least she's not beating around the bush. <laughs> Suddenly, she lowers her voice. Not that I care, Baka. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, Karisu. Oh, true. I mean, would she think of calling the police in her, like, current state, though? She'd probably just have a panic attack. How the heck can Rintaro and Karisu be having this banter phone call while in the presence of Mayuri's murderer? I know, right? Now,今、お前の人格を疑った。だが、偽善ぶらないところは好きだぞ、クリスティーナ。Oh, shoot! You're gonna make her blush with that. <laughs> What's the matter with her now? Jijitsu <laughs> Oh, 
お前の中にあるそうだろだからそういう結論に達したはずだ It's a dark room too where any weapons could be hidden I just don't think she's in the right mind state to be making smart decisions like that though よかったそれなりに冷静ねあんたの話が本当か嘘かは定義できないアトラクタフィールド理論っていう式を私はまだ完全には理解してないしそれでもあんたの説明をもとに考えるとキリウって人が4日後に自殺するなら彼女には死亡フラグが立っているっていう推論が成り立つ Yeah, she might not even keep the weapons at the apartment, so. Sekai ga Kanojo no Shio, Shonin Stat, the u t o k o n e I'm more worried. I'm more worried about the effect of killing someone will have on Okabe. On what that'll do to him mentally. That's what I'm most worried about, is if he end, tries to end up killing Kiryu. That's what I'm most worried about. If you have a lot of people who are in the world, you can't get a lot of people who are in the world. If you have a lot of people who are in the o r l ここの世界線でだけ考えるなら彼女は近いうちに死ぬあんたはこれまでに何度もマユリの死を見てきたからわかるはず重要なのは死んだという結果だけであって家庭はどうでもいいらしいってことをね、right. それと同じでキリウって人の死に方は問わないと思う In other words, I can kill her instead of letting her commit suicide. She got him at the Irokara Korostemo Kamavanaika. Mother the Satsuji Hambari no Ron Stenkaidana. Gizem Birna. But I see Ima. He to Steno Rindio Stete Hanasteno. Okabe Tiana Sai. She's unforgiving as always, but it actually feels nice to speak frankly about this. だが法律はどうする世界がそれを許しても社会は許さないタイムリープマシンがある限り相手を殺しても時間を遡ればれば全てなかったことにできる岡部は誰も殺さずに必要な情報だけを入手したっていう結果だけが残るわけ。I mean, Died by Okabe's hands anyway if he sends the D mail. Because a bunch of, like, the butterfly effect will kick in. This really is getting into a moral debate. Time travel is too OP. Please nerf. Hakushita. Tada. Koredake wa oboe to ite. Subete wa. 自己責任よこれだけ好き放題言ってる私はかなり無責任だけど問題ない実にマッドサイエンティスト的な意見だった<笑>さっさと肩をつけなさいじゃあね She hangs up without another word Strangely I find Carice's harsh tone encouraging <laughs> I manage a smirk as I close my phone. Moika's still sitting on the floor. Kill her if you have to, Karisu said. Moika did the same to us, but she doesn't deserve mercy. Kill her, kill her or let her live. It's my choice, my responsibility. Even after I undo the murder, the memory of my crime will remain with me. Sin, that guilt, I'll have to carry that weight. I mustn't ever forget. 
That's what Kreisu meant when she spoke of responsibility. Hey, hey, you know what though, Morsei? Hey, you know, you actually know what though, Morsei? Time travel is not too OP if you're just a fourth dimensional being like if a Bill Cypher from Gravity Falls. Remember the time baby came and like tried to like arrest him? Basically, he just like, BOOM! Just killed him, all the time travelers! <laughs> it's, it's not terribly OP. But uh, to be fair, he was like basically a god, so I don't know if that's a fair argument. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty heavy, but he isn't wrong. Eldritch beings aren't fair? Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Let's see, did you ever end up checking out that Higurashi Dear You? I did, I did, and it's really good, I liked it. Uh, thank you for sharing that with me. They break things by default, yeah. <laughs> That's what Kurisu meant when she spoke of responsibility. Murder is unforgivable, no matter the circumstance. I'm just worried about what this is gonna do to Okabe. If I had the choice, I'd prefer he didn't kill Kiryu. Because his mind has already been desensitized at this point. And if it gets even worse, he'll, like it's just a slippery slope at that point, if you know what I mean. You understand that, Kiryu Moika? If he goes through with it, that will not be good. Yeah. Because, let, like, let, let's say the best thing happened. He gets the IBM 5100, everything goes uh, hunky-dory, uh, everyone's walking down the yellow brick road to happiness. He still had to experience all of that. Everyone's safe, the timeline's fixed, but he still had to go through all of that. His mind will have most likely been broken at that point. It, it's hard to say if he'd ever be happy again at that at that point. I reach for Moika's phone. This time, there's no hesitation. <laughs> Moika resists. Murder always is a slippery slope. It's exactly what Rikishi was talking about in Higurashi. That choice still has an effect on you as a person, and that desire for normalcy and happiness will be destroyed. Those kind of choices could lead to the Gamma Okabe from the drama CD. The oh, oh, I have no idea what that is, but that's uh, uh, Gamma Okabe. Is he turned into Hulk? I grab, I, I grab, well, I grab her slender hand and pin it to the window. This looks really wrong out of context. The glass rattles from the force, but thankfully it doesn't break. With my other hand, I pry the phone away from Moika's chest. Oh, oh yeah, there's drama CD set in the woodland where Okabe's around her. Oh, really? Okay. She drives her foot straight into my solar plexus. The breath explodes from my lungs as I gasp for air. In a fit of anger, I raise my hand to strike. At the last moment, I hesitate. What happened to kill her, killing her if I have to? I know we're past the point of playing nice, but I've never hit a girl in my life. Essentially, he's one of the committees, straight up ruler of Japan or something to that effect. Oh god. The world's effed if Okabe turns evil, man. I don't consider myself a model gentleman or anything, but the idea that men aren't supposed to hit women is such a strong part of my common sense that it stayed my hand almost like an instinct. So instead, I wrap my hand around Moika's neck and squeeze. When she tries to kick me again, I pin her legs under my own. I squeeze harder, my fingers dig into her throat. Gamma world line is depressing. Big oof. She struggles for breath. I feel her throat moving as she gasps for air. I can finally see my reflection in her tear reddened eyes. Moika's under control, but now I don't have a free hand to take her phone. If I 
loosen my grip on her throat even slightly, it'll turn into a struggle again. Malik is hiding her phone behind her back now. I need that phone. Should I let go of her hand or her neck? Also, that all happened because in Gamma, the Y2K bug actually happened. Terrifying, really. Just one change. It's it. It always is with these time travel stories. It's just one change and everything go to crap, huh? Wake a weekly shakes her head. Isn't that the World Line World copy became a rounder to save up money for Mayuri because she has a kid? What the damn? What? That all that nearly sounds like fan fiction, dude. Jesus Christ. But I could believe it. Was it chair the timeline? <laughs> Wonder if I even can. I'm gonna do it with the time loop machine. It'll be the perfect crime, one that never happened. But still, do I really have it in me to murder someone? I don't know, but I have to try. <laughs> no words leave Moika's lip, lips, just rough breathing. Stalemate. Neither of us shows the other any openings. We're practically motionless, but our breathing is ragged. It's taken all my strength just to pin her down. Rough breathing echoes through the room. For a moment, it even seems to synchronize. This is getting me nowhere. I remove my hand from her neck, then use my entire left arm to pin her against the wall in a guillotine choke. <laughs> Rintaro is going through the Meichi. Mate, what the? Mochi, what? Keichi murder rationalization class, yeah. She starts groaning in pain. My right hand has her left hand up against the glass. Now I pull her hand down and transfer it to the grip of my left hand. Now my right hand is free. I slide up behind her back and go searching for her phone. I have to lean in close to do this. I press my body up against hers. <laughs> this would look so wrong at a context minute. Pain explodes in my jaw. I lean back. Oh, she headbutt. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was saying, Ruben. Moik is ready another headbutt. I put more strength into the guillotine choke to stop her. <laughs> Especially in the anime. Oh my god. I hear the anime is actually really good from what you guys have told me, so I'm actually excited to watch that with you guys. Moika's face twists in pain, and she struggles to escape my grasp. My guillotine choke seems to be working. She doesn't have the strength to resist. If I push any harder, she, re she, might, she really might die. I push harder. Moika rises in pain. Tears fall from her eyes and drool from her mouth. As her resistance weakens, my right hand finds Moika's phone. She still has it in a tight grip, but I manage to tear it away. Quickly release Moika and step away. <laughs> she bends over and coughs violently, but still she reaches out to me with tears in her eyes. She wants her phone back. I don't care. I look at the screen. Jesus Christ! There was a lot more FBs there than I realized, Jesus! The pacing of the anime is really good for the anime adaptation. The first Mayuri death was in the ending of episode 12. Uh, I chose an email with a draft of string... draft with a string of FBs entered. I clear the text and start typing a new mail. But her phone's different from mine, so I don't quite know how to use it. Let's see... Huh? 
startled, I look up to see Moika staggering to her feet. You... Get out of there, man! Like, you got the phone, leave! She's like a goddamn zombie! I quickly run outside and close the door behind me. Just leave! Run! Get out of there! Was that a draft name drop? <laughs> Wait, where? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh my god, that's dumb. <laughs> the adaptation is also really good with two exceptions, and one of which is the Ferris chapter, and that depends on whether you like that scene. <laughs> I see, I see what you mean, man. <laughs> I quickly run outside and close the door behind me. Then I lean my entire body weight onto it so she can't open it from the inside. The doorknob rattles as she tries to open the door. Dude, just leave! You don't even have to do that! Just run! Actually, do you guys think Moika could outrun Okabe? Actually, probably, now that I think about it. Then she starts pounding on the inside. It's a good thing doors in Japan open out. You wouldn't see this in a Hollywood movie. Anyway, I have her phone. Now I just need to pretend to be Moika and send the cancellation email. Moika's changes to the past will be cancelled. Bloodbind will trade. Will change. Draft Doku. <laughs> the IBM 5200 will come back to me. We'll hack and discern. Mission complete. Fate, will, fate won't have Mayuri this time. Victory will be mine. I don't know if it'll be that easy. Hi, that's it. Demail the set of Tarum. Hey, no, to catch Koyuke. Scosibakari. Should have a two dinner. Oh my god, someone. Y'all actually summoned draft. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Draft, oh my god, <laughs> I actually summoned him. Panic! <laughs> Panic! It was just a sentence that was along the lines of, I opened her phone and, and there was a Draft text, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually summoned him. I'm having a little trouble. Which one of you had a catalyst? <laughs> Tell her Moika's address. ニューヨーク完了。マイリは。まだいる。ブラウン管工房で店長さんと話してる。42型ブラウン管を付けさせておくためにね。話してないだろうな。あの子が死ぬこと言えるわけない。だったらいい。まだ切るなよ。<笑
In the mail, I write model change, do it now before sold out. Mm, I don't know if that'll work. Moika's D-mail said don't change models. The desire for a limited edition, hard to find products is hard coded in Japanese DNA. <laughs> Appealing to that instinct should work. The insistent pounding on the door grows louder. And now I hear groaning from the other side. I can't believe how persistent she is. Is her phone really that important to her? But I've already won. All I have to do is send the D-mail. Never forgive you, Moika. But at least our relationship ends here. Let this be the last time we meet. I raise the phone to eye level. I take a deep breath. It ends now. I press send. Did he? Did he not wait on like the the, the discharge phenomenon? Dude, you didn't wait. <laughs> they didn't turn on the TV yet. <laughs> did Did he just forget about that? What? <laughs> no vertigo. No dizziness. Nothing. Reading spaghetti didn't activate. No, yeah, he called Karisu, but they they said that Mayuri was having trouble getting the guy to turn on the TV. In the anime, that lady came in while Rintaro was still on top of it. On top of Moeka. And the... She, uh, he forced himself to kiss her to make it look like it was a lover's scene. That's kind of messed up. I don't know if that happens. It still happens, but just later. What? <laughs> Why didn't the world line change? The phone wave failed to function? To bring my phone back to my ear, Chris is still on the line. Doda! Oktano! Okta! Chanto dosa shaloka! Kotsi wa chanto hoden gensho kakuni sta! Sejo ni dosa shandana! Matsigai nakne! Sekai sen ga kawaranai! Consider the possibilities. I, d I didn't see I didn't see Ruben's message, so I didn't get spoiled. Uh, it just it just went above chat as you guys was uh, pointing it out, so. <laughs> We, we, we saved. We were good. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Maybe the message wasn't enough to persuade Moika to change models. What <laughs> oh, I see his drafts animosity. <laughs> Pounding on the door has ceased. Did she finally give up? They yeah, had no shot, bro. No, she wouldn't give up. Did she plan to climb out the window and loop around? We're on the second floor. That'd be quite a feat. I should still have some time left. <laughs> それで効果が出ないようならこっちでタイマーをびちょうせする。助かる。そっちの様子はミスターブランが乗り込んできてないから。きっと橋田と真由里が必死で眺めてるはずだけど、いつまでもつか。あまり余裕はないと思って。I put my phone into my pocket without hanging up. What did that say? It just said something rocks. I changed the message and sent another demon. But still, nothing happens. Change now, your phone is cursed! <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I know what he has to do. He has to send one that says, um... 
FB really doesn't... Uh, FB wants you to change your phone now. Or FB demands it or something. Just mention FB and then that'll, like, for sure make her do it. And make another one. Send. No good. Just let her open the door and when she comes charging you, do a quick dip and let her fall. Her face Why? What am I doing wrong? I'd like to ask Moika, but if I go back inside now, she'll probably just attack me. Which reminds me, she's been awfully quiet. What is she doing now? Maybe she really did go out the window. I look around. I don't see her anywhere. I think. Why didn't the D-mail work? I wipe the sweat from my brow. My entire body is soaked. Must be the adrenaline. What if Moika changed addresses when she got a new phone? I take out my phone. Frantically consider my options as I stare hard at Moika's phone. The walkway is dim, but Moika's gaudy purple phone shines in the faint light. Oh! Brain blast! Brain blast! Wait. I take another good look at the phone. Something wrong here. What is it? Okabe? Dostano? Gaudy purple. Latest model. Removable LCD screen. Model number GG01. Wait, she didn't change phones! I mean, she did change phones. This is the new one. She already changed phones. My eyes tell me there's nothing wrong. She already changed phones in this timeline. I saw this phone when Moika sent her email. Many times before, she was never without it. It's the same. Nothing has changed. She never changed phones. Store in her septic tank. How did you say the right thing and instantly backtrack? The fuck do you mean? She never changed phones, right? Why hasn't it changed? Why is it the same as before? Moika sent her D-mail. Moika's D-mail said don't change models. She should have a different phone when she sent it. But she didn't. It was the same phone I'm holding right now. There's only one explanation. She never changed models to begin with. <laughs> she lied to me! Kiryu really did just say, "If and I'ma just start lying to people." <laughs> I'ma just start lying to people. <laughs> Moika's email wasn't about her phone. That explains how it affected the IBM 5100. It also explains why my cancellation demos aren't working. But you saw her send the mail, right? It was about the cell phone. You saw her send the mail. Right? Did they not, like, watch her to the T send that email? You guys are just confusing me now. Did she change phones or not? Like, she never changed... She never... Oh, I'm getting confused. Like, she never, like, she never, uh, like, she still got her new model. Nothing changed. She never stuck with her old model, so she never changed from her new model. That's what I'm saying. She never changed from her new model. She never stuck with her old phone. Or maybe she's just too, 
Maybe she just had two phones. So I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the door violently shakes behind my back. Oh my god, she get a battering ram? <laughs> it's much stronger than before. She must be ramming something hard and heavy against the door. I quickly move away from the door. The door shakes again. I can see the frame starting to warp. You better get out of there, buddy. <laughs> I suppose I should be thankful she doesn't have a gun, but honestly, this is terrifying enough. Why are you guys roasting me? I, I, I got it, I got it, I got what they were trying to say. Why are you guys roasting me? <laughs> Peace, innocent door. It chills my blood to think of what her face must look like now. I've never been the target of such single-minded obsession before. Why is he not just running? But unfortunately, I can't run away. Why? I need to face Moika again and ring the information out of her. She's not gonna tell you! <laughs> Why would she tell you? <laughs> she's not She's not exactly in a uh, cooperating mood. <laughs> Both Ferris and Tukako remembered their details. I, I, I know he's like gonna try to force it out of her, but I don't... I don't think she... She'd be the type of person that would give that info away even if, like, death threatened to her. Both Ferris and Lukaku remember their D-mails. With prodding, Moika will remember too. I need that information. Crap. That purple phone is the one she bought recently. She told Rintaro that she wanted to send a D-mail to prevent herself from buying that new phone. Yeah, yeah. But she lied. She didn't send an e email like that. Purple one. No. Oh my god, I'm so confused. The purple one's the new model that she got. The one she had in the OG timeline. The one she switched with her old phone. Or she... Oh my god. Are, is, is it just like she never had an old phone? Is that just the one she always had? Is that is that the twist? She never had an old phone, is that the twist? Am I- am I getting it? Like, that new phone is her old phone? There was never another phone? Is that the twist? Is that what I'm missing? <laughs> Crap. I don't want to go in there. Teeth are chattering. This is pathetic. I thought I'd won when I snatched her phone. Now my advantage is gone. Christina. Oh,そらくあの女は。she could she'd still have um but that means she'd still have that on her phone right somewhere on her phone right or am i wrong about that she should she should still have it in her received mail history you can try to check that Yeah, yeah. Yeah, her arrival history. That's what I was saying. Of course, even if it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> or, or maybe she deleted it. She she could have deleted it as well. You can delete your arrival history, right? It should still be in the arrival history. I glare at the purple phone in my hand. It's a good thing Moika didn't change phones. Now I know exactly where the D-mail went. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it would be easy. I should have known better. Moika's not a casual phone user. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Lord! She's a male D- Oh, no! 
It's over for Okabe cells. <laughs> Her mailbox has literally hundreds of entries over the last week. Almost all from FB. Some of my mails are sprinkled in. I don't have time to search through each of these mails, even just the subject lines. Just go to July 31st. Not to mention the pounding on the door is freaking me out. Christina, I hang up. The lady next door comes out again, alarmed by the escalating noise. She glares at me. <laughs> but when she sees the magnitude of the door's damage, the lady opens her eyes in shock and runs back inside. Okay, now now she gets it. Yeah, she's gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm not leaning against the door anymore. Moika could just open it, but she hasn't realized that. She's so fixated, fixated on getting her phone back, she'd destroy her own door. In any case, I don't have time to check her mail history. I put the phones into my pockets and move to the side of the door. Is he just gonna try to hide from her? I carefully grip the doorknob and wait for the interval bangs. Now. I yank the door open. The coffee table flies out and smashes into the walkway railing. Oh, 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 she's mad. Oh, God. Her screech raises hairs all over my body. She's standing in the entrance like a revenant at the gates of hell. She yeeted a table. Yeah. A coffee table, oh my god. You need to get out of there, man. <laughs> she is gonna tear you apart. I step back. My knees tremble. But then I remember what I'm here to do. I gather my resolve, enter the room, and close the door behind me. He has balls of absolute steel. Oh my god. You know, oh, so I gotta, I gotta respect that, Okabe. I gotta respect that. Bro entered hell. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta respect that. I, no disrespect at all. Oh my god. I'm, I'll be surprised if he lives through this. Oh my god. Or at least I try. The door's bent and won't fully close. Oh, God. I give up on locking it. That's hell you're walking into. I mean, Rintaro definitely has balls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Moika glares at me, shaking with fury. First, I have to restrain her again. <laughs> I don't know if you can at this point, man! <laughs> Oh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> he walked into the beast cage and closed the door behind him. Based. <laughs> Absolutely based. This is gonna be sus. Oh no. This is a woman who would kill on command. Who would break her own door just to retrieve her phone. It's too dangerous to let her be. I'm stronger. I just need to get her on the ground. Are you sure you're stronger? She just tossed out a whole coffee table out the window. <coughs> Are you sure you're stronger? <laughs> There's no time. It's now or never. Crushing my fear, I charge Moeka at full speed. Our bodies collide. Moeka tries to twist away, twist away, but I grab her clothes and use my momentum to push her to the floor. <laughs> well, he did it. Well, I, I'm surprised, honestly. I thought she was in full-on demon mode. <laughs> the back of her head hits the floor. Disclaimer, sus scene. Is it, like, sus to where I'd have to black it out? Is it, like, that level of sus? Or just... Or, like... Do they still have their clothes on, is, is, is my question. <laughs> I could show it if they had their clothes on. He's maybe slightly stronger from a physical standpoint. Damn. 
No, less sus than the shower scene. It's more in the writing. Oh, okay, okay. The back of her head hits the floor. Her resistance weakens. She doesn't know how to break a fall. Some secret agent. I quickly straddle her waist. Now she's mine. Voice acting from her, though, Jesus Christ. Moika flails her arms and legs wildly, like it's super good. I should have known she wouldn't give up. Her fist strikes my jaw. <laughs> Fortunately, Moika's weak. That blow does little. How is she weak, bro? She just threw a whole fucking coffee table out the door. What? <laughs> Okami must, must just be built different. <laughs> oh, God. Or maybe it's not like the coffee tables I know. Maybe it's a lot smaller. Adrenaline is a heck of a drug. <laughs> I still need to stop her from struggling. First, her hands. I start with her left. I grab her wrist and pin it to the floor. Fist flies towards my face. Also, probably was lighter, cheaper table. Still, it was a table. Yeah. It pops against my left eye, blinking my vision for a second. She seems to stop struggling for a moment. Her hand claws weakly at the air. But it turns out that she was reaching for my hair. Oh no, not the hair, man! She grabs it hard, until several strands tear free of my scalp. Oh god, I hate hair pulling. Oh, it always makes me cringe. <laughs> Get a grip on Moika's face and press her head against the floor. <laughs> I mean, tables aren't that heavy anyways, so it's good unless it's solid oak. She tries to bite my fingers, so I pull my hand back. Grab the hand that's grabbing my hair and dig my nails into her wrist. <laughs> but she still doesn't let go of my hair. Oh no! All the while, her feet are pounding against my back. She's also trying to free her left hand. Can't take much more of this. <laughs> I instinctively headbutt Moika with all my strength. Jesus! The sickening sound of bone against bone echoes inside my head. The impact makes me dizzy too, but I fight it. Moika goes limp, and opening, finally, I succeed at pinning down both her hands. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. She looks... oh god. <laughs> she is, uh... She's not doing too good, we'll say that much. A lot of bruises. <laughs> Glasses fell off at some point during the struggle. Throw puncher, oh my god. Her red, swollen eyes give her an even more demented look. There's an angry bump on her forehead where I headbutted her. <laughs> Draft key moment. <laughs> Draft key moment. <laughs> she spits at me. Oof. The lukewarm saliva hits my face. Ugh. I want to wipe it off, but my hands are full. Moika glares at me. There are tears in her eyes, perhaps from the pain. Draft <laughs> 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 Oh god. Moika breaks eye contact when I mention it. <laughs> she stares at my pocket. She must have caught a glimpse of purple. 
A smile scornfully. Moika tries again to free her hands. I lean in order and I lean in harder to keep them pinned. My strength and position are superior, so Moika accomplishes nothing. Next she struggles to free her body, same result. Plant my thighs firmly around her hips and hold her down. She occasionally knees me in the back, but I can bear that pain. It's not enough to make me forfeit this position. This definitely does not look <laughs> sus. True. <laughs> I mean, Twitch can't get mad at me. They approve this game. Looks like a Sunday night. The IRS is on to you. Moika, without a doubt. I don't do sports or anything, so I'm not that strong. But I'm on top. I don't need to expend much energy to keep her pin. She can scream and spit all she likes. Nothing will make me give up this position. Moika shakes her head violently. She's just wasting her energy. I maintain position and stare down at Moika. Except, you know, when the pl when the neighbors call the police. <laughs><笑><笑> Oh my god, DraftKings is getting a freaking smartphone, oh god. <laughs> Oof. Golden abusing his mod power? Uh-oh. だがそんなの。俺からしてみれば知ったことじゃないんだ。なかったことを、俺は全部覚えている。お前への憎しみは消えてないんだ。お前が迷りを殺した事実は俺の中に刻まれてるんだよ。It's <笑> Until now, I've always run away from facing Moeka. But I can't do that on this world line. I have to know what her D-mail said. Oh, shit. I mean, I do agree that Golden having Moeka as a wife who is an L. I will agree with that much. <laughs> Moika is still struggling. <laughs> Go and just shut up. <laughs> hey man, I don't judge. It's the glasses. <laughs> Those damn glasses. Oh <laughs> So uh guys, how about that uh how about that Moeka route? We uh We we <laughs> the Moeka route still got still <laughs> we still got a chance for Moeka route? Huh? Uh? <laughs> Moeka route win? Huh? 
<laughs> it could happen. <laughs> the root is short in the drainage pipe. You must have Jeez, okay. Oh, Lord. Kitai Nado Nakutemo. Shanto Hana Serde on Ica. Eh? Kutabale. Kutuga. My not a shoot. That's not another body who told a kirikizam. Kirikizam noa. Mad scientist no Hakoda. I avoid Yandere on principle. Ah, oh, dang. I don't know. My, Yandere can be a W in some situations, though. Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, uh, this isn't good. This woman's out of control. Does she want another headbutt that badly? Well, it's over. A knock sounds from the door. Mocha and I both look at the door in surprise. Uh oh. I'll take that L if it means I stay away from the insane stalkers. That's fair. That's fair. Damn, I didn't think about that. I can't have her calling the police. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, Moika suddenly screams. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Actual draft key moment. <laughs> you bee. <laughs> what now? I need to silence Moika somehow. I can't use either hand. There's only one way. <laughs> Did he actually kiss her? I suddenly press my lips against Moika's. Dude, she is gonna bite your tongue off. Also another crime, but uh... <laughs> Rintaro's... Uh... Crime list is not getting any lighter, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> Actually, that's like a second sexual assault charge. Granted, it's more like... There's more context in this situation. Doesn't make it much better, though. My loveless kiss shuts her up quite effectively. I lock eyes with her as well, trading glares in silence. Except in this case, it's actually legitimate. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I still don't like it, but... Uh... I finally hear the neighbor's footsteps recede. What a relief. Yeah, I, 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 saw, <laughs> I saw a bike coming in. I definitely saw a bike coming. <laughs> I was sitting there like, she could just bite him. I feel a sharp pain on my lip. I instinctively jerk away. Blood drips from my mouth and lands on Moika's neck. Yeah, that was definitely a bite. She bit me! And I feel around my lip with the tip of my tongue. The taste of blood spreads out from the laceration. The bite was a given, yeah. Moika breathes wildly as she glares at me with tearful eyes. <laughs> This is so wrong. <laughs> I 
That is a very sus sentence, yeah. She grimaces and looks away. Golden's taste is concerning me, not as much as Travis, but it's still worrying. <laughs> Her pink lips glisten with saliva. I might find the sight alluring if the situation were different. Come on, Okafe, focus. Moika turns her face away and looks up, and through the open curtains at the bright full moon outside the window. Oh, worrying. How much time has passed? I feel like it's already been dozens of hours. It's still night outside, so it probably hasn't been more than one or two. Moika hasn't said a word since I kissed her. She hasn't tried to escape either. Her expression is blank. She's just staring off to the side. What is she looking at? I follow her gaze, but the only thing there is a half-empty bottle of water. Has she given up? By the way, I can't let my guard down. Maybe it's a stress, but it feels like my body's going numb. I've been drenched in sweat for a while now. This room has no air conditioning whatsoever. The heat is starting to get to me. I thought I had an overwhelming advantage in this position, but it's harder to maintain than I expected. Stop, Mochi. What did I do? No time to cough, I feel. That's not me, man. <laughs> not only do I have to keep Moika pinned, I also have to keep a close eye on her so she doesn't try anything. All Moika has to do is lie there. She can rest and try again whenever she's ready. Will this last all night? At this rate, my strength might, get, might give out first. Fear mounts. If she escapes, she's gonna try to kill me. She must have her gun somewhere, for sure. I am consider calling Karisu for help, but I can't use either hand. I don't even know what time it is. Damn. It's almost like I'm the one that's trapped. No, stay positive. You can do this. Moika's dependent on her phone. That's her weak point. If I keep her separated from her phone, then sooner or later, her will to resist should collapse. It's a matter of whose strength will fail first. Mm, don't try that with me, bruh. Ain't no kun gonna sway me. Suddenly, Moika calls my name. Toshitara. Now she's trying to ask nicely. Does this mean she's given up? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for. Now I move in for the kill. D-mail.過去へ送ることのできるメール。お前はそれを送った。お前自身の携帯へな。機種変更に関する内容だと思っていたが、それは嘘だった。お前は俺たちの目をごまかして、こっそりメールの内容を入れ替えたんだ。Her typing speed is lightning fast. It would have been easy for her to type a mere 36 characters, while Daru and I were preoccupied with a phone wave name subject to change. Normally, once the past changes, everything until that point is undone. But it should be possible to make Moeko remember. Just as Ferris and Lukaku did. Or else what? I don't know. This is just a tactic to put pressure on Moeko. I have another plan to make her remember. <laughs> I 
Moeka turns away again and bites her lip. Tears start falling from her eyes. I watch, never once taking my eyes off her. I didn't notice before now, but her shirt must have become undone during the struggle. Dude, how many times have they zoomed in on her chest, dude? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can see the alluring curves of her collarbone. The skin of her large pale breast, a hint of sexy- Okay, dude. Jesus, we get it. Breasts heave with each painful breath. The base of her neck is stained with blood. The blood from my lip. It's dry, like a scab. We get it, Oka. Yeah, like, we get it. Focus. <laughs> Normally, Moeka could be mistaken for an elegant, beautiful woman. Now she has large shadows under her eyes. Her skin is rough. Her face is pale. She looks more intoxicated than intoxicating. Her entire body reeks of death. Do not tell me this is what DraftKey meant by she smells bad. Do not tell me that whole joke led to this scene. <laughs> I swear to god. <laughs> I hate it here, man. <laughs> I know you're still a teenager, but get it together. She's stinky at me. <laughs> god. I warned you. <laughs> this is the real Moika. I wish I'd realized sooner. I figured that's what he was referencing, but I wasn't sure. Oh man. Moika's Moika's gaze shifts constantly from me to the ceiling and then to the window. But her slow murmuring is evidence that she's almost beat. Just a little more and her resistance will end. さし出しには <laughs> No, he won't. <laughs> she suddenly curses at me. No, she knows he won't give it back. Her mission? I recall what Moika told me on a previous world line. The Rounder's mission is to find and acquire IBN 5100s. In that case... IBN 5100. <laughs> she fell into my trap. Her reflexive response was all I needed to see. Of course I was not about the IBN, dude. Come on. Wait. <laughs> してる。メイドの内容。質問をするのは俺だけだ。いいから答えろ。言えない。FB を裏切ることに。携帯よりも I, I think that's why she's obsessed with the phone, is because of FB, man. <laughs> it's not necessarily the phone itself. But Mayuri's fate hangs in the balance. I can't give up. Moika still hasn't calmed down. She's been opening and closing her hands for a while now. 
She's not trying to escape my restraint. She's just twisting her body. Licking her lips, shaking her head, trying to brush her hair off her face. It's like she's suffering from withdrawal without her phone. Soon, she won't have the mental fortitude to resist. If she won't talk now, then I'll just wait until she will. When she attacked the lab, she was leading a squad of hardened killers. Awake, Moeka shakes her head violently. Obsessed with the internet and the phone, maybe? ラウンダーじゃなくてラウンダーじゃなくて。FBからミステられること。That's the same thing, isn't it? No, that obviously not. No. だったら世界などと言うな。何の罪もない女の子を容赦なく殺した分際で。マユリオ、世界から断絶させた分際で。殺してない。そう、この世界線ではな。だが別の世界線においては、お前はラウンダーとして、俺たちのタイムマシンを
I can't say I feel too bad for her, but it is kind of, like, disturbing to see if that makes sense. If, if I, I don't know how to explain, like, it's still disturbing to see, even if I don't feel sympathy for her. Makabe has a bleeding heart on the inside. Yeah. But at the same time, my conscience screams that it's wrong to hurt someone, no matter who they are or what they've done. Sane mad scientist, my ass. I'm afraid to hurt my mortal enemy. I'm nothing but a hypocrite. FB will cover his you and I. That's what I'm saying. I ignore the ache in my heart and push harder. But Moika shakes her head violently. <laughs> yeah, do not fall for it, uh, what DraftKey said. お前がお前を殺したあとでタイムリープする。私は I keep the questions coming, I need to pile on the pressure. Oh god. Moika looks up to me with bleeding eyes. <laughs> お前は裏切られたんだよ。<笑><笑> Zuckerberg ain't saving you. Dattara, don't know who that is. Father, like me, I'm gentle with me. I'm finally a comfortable place. A mother? FB's a woman? I mean, I don't know why that's like a big twist. The gender was never confirmed, man. You just kept saying he. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! <laughs> I expected an evil looking old man like you see in the movies, but I guess I was wrong. She had that with the lad, too. Too bad she didn't meet Okabe first. Yeah.悩みを相談したり、いつもすぐに返事くれた友達みたいで、でもつつみ込む優しさがあって。会ったことは、お母さんみたいで。友達みたいで、お前にとって心地いい居場所だったのに。
一度も会ったことはない確かに会うのはルール違反かもなだがお前は FB が好きで会ってみたかった違うか Basic operational security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not terribly surprising, right? その様子だと電話もしたことがないな。避けられているとは思わなかったのか<笑>そこまで親身になってくれた優しい女上司がお前に会おうとしない理由は本当にルールだけかそしてなぜ連絡をよこさない理由を考えてみろ振り込め詐欺と同じだお前は騙されていたんだ FB を悪く言わないでそんな人じゃない連絡が途絶える前最後のメールはどんな内容だった IBN5100 を指定場所に置いておけ <laughs> oh? The IBM 5100? Moeka, you fool! You let your tongue slip! Two weeks ago, FB told her to leave the IBM 5100 at a drop point. That means she already had it in her possession at that time. I recall how Moeka kept bombarding me with questions about the IBM 5100. I might have let it slip that I found the computer at Yanabayashi Shrine. After that, she sent her demon. The world line changed. The lock was broken on the shrine storehouse door. The IBM 5100 was gone. These facts point to one conclusion. She sent herself the location of the IBM 5100. Now that I know, it seems so obvious. Only I hadn't trusted Moeka. Only I had seen through her lies. But no. I played right into her hands. I was the tool's tool. I almost burst into self deriding laughter. I desperately hold it back and keep a straight face. So, no, but you are dog. Coin dog. David. My. That's interesting. So, in both situations, even with when Lukaku broke the IBN, it still goes to the coin locker. It's not broken. That's kind of interesting, right? But the location it ends up in is still the same. The same coin locker. The coin locker in front of Daiburu. Wait, isn't that where Lukaku hid the IBM 5100 on the previous world line? Is this another effect of convergence? Can I retrieve the IBM 5100 if I go there now? Probably not. It's probably gone by now. No, I can't expect it to still be there. Remember what happened with Lukaku. The invisible force of convergence is keeping the IBM 5100 away from me. If I want to get it back, I need to cancel Moeka's D mail. I know the message. I've already reached my goal. Moika starts crying softly. I sigh deeply and lift myself off Moika's body. You, you, you're playing a dangerous game. Then I lean back against the wall and stretch, stretch my aching limbs. You're, you're playing a dangerous game, there, Okabe. I take Moika's phone out of my pocket. Huh? 
Moika slowly gets up. She wipes her tears and fixes her hair <laughs> her hair and clothes. The wavy hair obscures her face from this angle, so I can't make out her expression. She doesn't react to what I said. Even though I'm no longer restraining her, she doesn't try to attack me and take back her phone. I guess she's just tired at this point? I open Moika's mailbox and search for the D-mail. It takes about three minutes, but I finally find it. Three mails from Moika's own phone. Each 12 characters long. Sent on August 4th and received on July 31st. Retro PCs at Yanabayashi Shrine. How, how can we cancel that, though? What do we just say? We just send an email and says, Psych! <laughs> it's like it's actually in the, I don't know, the bottom of a volcano. <laughs> I don't know, how would you cancel that? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Like, <sighs> hmm. Uh, that's a problem. Even if he sends a false message, will Past Moika believe it? Yeah. Just as I suspected, Moika changed her email in the few seconds I had my back turned. All I need to do now is send the cancellation mail. Ima, Labo ni iruka? <笑>バカ心配してくれていたのかどう見ても死亡フラグ立ってたから無事なのが驚きよ今どこにいるちゃんとラボで待機中もう一度<笑><笑> I don't think that would work. <laughs> I don't think that mail would work. It's a trap! <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> While Karisu calculates the hours, I type the mail. I don't know if that would work. It says, do not go, not at shrine, it's a trap. <laughs> I address the mail to the phone wave, name subject to change. Jimby, okay. Yes. Kido, stick it. I press the sun button. Mail starts sending. <coughs> Reading spaghetti should activate this time for sure. Brace myself for the incoming vertigo. It's not gonna activate. Don't. Don't. また間違い。いや、そんなはずはない。Why isn't it working? What the hell's wrong with this time? 最初の D メールの内容は? いや、名場屋神社にIBN 5100があると知らせるものだ。Yeah, it still gives you an exact location. それは罠だと否定したんだがもう一度別の文面で再装をまたディメールの面倒な部分についてはロト6の実験で検証済みでしょ 
Steady gave the winning numbers to Lukaku. D mail を読んだ人間がその通りに行動するかどうかは個人の資質に影響される。ねえ、はい。キリウって人は神社に IBN5100 があると知らされた。直後にそれを否定するメールが来ても構わず神社へ行ったという推測が導ける。はい。否定するメールを信じなかったか。あるいはクソ真面目に否定されても念のために調べてみたか。I glance at Moika. She's still hanging her head, but her tears have run dry. Wonder if she's listening. Say, mention FB. I feel like that has to be the strat. Mention FB. より強制力の強い文面にするしかない。神社に行くのを禁止させるぐらいの。Say, don't go to shrine FB orders or something, maybe. どうやって ?It's the problem.Is it possible to persuade her with just 36 bytes of text?Should we consider other possibilities? 例えば、7月30日のお礼と D メールを送り、先に IBN5100 を回収させるという方法は。その日のあんたは IBN5100 に興味があったのか<笑> ?When did I start caring about the IBN5100? Can't remember. Fine, that's out. So, how do I convince Moika to listen? At that moment, electric shock runs through my brain. Brain blast? Two initials. FB. Oh, wait. What? Moika no Joshi. Izon no Taisho. FB. Kara no Mail. Nara. Mujo can the Shinjiru has. So, no. FB. To Kayu Hito no Ketai. No. <laughs> uh, いい Why are you talking about me? No. Why are you t a l k i n So, even after prying answers out of Moeka, there's still more work to be done. It really seems to love getting in my way. Alright, to break out of this world line, I need FB's identi identity and location. I call Moeka's name. When she finally looks up, I drop her phone onto her lap. She, accept it. she accepts it with a confused expression. FB を探すことになった。Moika grips her phone, but she doesn't look at the screen. I sigh deeply. I need to get as much information on FB out of her as I can. Honestly, I couldn't care less. I hate having to stand here and talk with a woman who killed my Uri. <laughs> Hugging her phone to her chest, Moika retrieves her glasses and puts them back on. 4年前死のうとしてた。You're not getting any sympathy out of me, Moika. Her voice was barely audible whisper. For a moment, I'm surprised she's not talking, she's not talking by mail. なんの希望も持てなくて何もかもが嫌になって。原因は特にこれっていうのは Her expression is blank, lifeless, like always. But behind her glasses, her eyes are red from crying. They are the only traces of emotion on her doll like face. でも小さなことがたくさん積み重なって
もともとこんな性格だし。家族はモイカシェイクスヘッドウォトル。シェアズノン、アゲス。アドンバーダーアスキンウォトルシェアバーハッパーンツ、ドゥンリーマダー。チブンのヘアデー。シーミーヤク。タイディオニノンデー。デモ。シヌノウシパイシテ。ソコニー。メールが「ラウンダー募集」って個人宛てじゃなくて一斉送信の。Isn't that spam? Do the rounders really recruit like that? 私はどうでもよくなってた。だから気づいたら返信してた。そしたら連絡が来たの FP からそれからずっと FB の指示に従ってたずっとこの秋葉にモイカシェイクスヘッド3ヶ月前まで名古屋その前は横浜その前は The Rounders chief duty is to acquire IBM 5100s I guess they had her traveling all over Japan digging up info on retro PCs これまでに IBM 5100をいくつ見つけた一台も Oh No results? Sounds like CERN is spending a lot of effort for not, mu for not much return. I sighed deeply once again. Omae wa kono ato. Do suru tsumori da. Tada zetsubo ni uchi hishigare de. Yotei doori jisat suru ka. Araga o to wa omoa nai no ka. Araga u? Even as I ask the question, I know that for her, rebellion is impossible. This world line has already approved her death. She's in the same situation as Mayuri. No matter what she does, she will die. I know that, and yet I ask the question. FB は、お前を利用し、見捨てた。それを認めろ。その上で、FB に対してどうしたいと考えているんだ利用されていたとしても私の居場所そこしかなかったから。初めてだった生きてきた中で自分が必要とされたこと FB が居場所を与えてくれたの<笑> oh <my> God, <笑> hey, Fuki. Hello. その居場所を守るためなら生きがいを与えてくれた FB を守るためなら何だってするってお前は救いようのないバカだ Can I say because I'm not home but I had to say hi Hey no problem Hope you have a good day Fuki Thank you for stopping by I stand up だったら依存したまま死んでいけお前の死は確定しているだが俺は世界の思い通りになっていいとは思わないだから徹底的に抗う
what I, no matter what, I will save my Yuri. Just a little bit more. I can't give up now. Okay, I have to, I have to stop it right there. I don't know if it's a good stopping place or not, but we did get through that whole scene with Moika. But yeah, we gotta stop it right there. Got 58 hours on this game. Uh, I'm headed off to bed too. Yeah, it, it's like 12 a.m. for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for today. Uh, gonna get some rest. Um, we won't be ha we won't be streaming tomorrow. Just to remember, we won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do a Higurashi watch along since uh, we won't be streaming. But yeah, that'll be about it. So I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see y'all later. Uh, hope everyone has a good one, man. Yeah. Bye-bye.